when I came to Bangladesh, I used to see locals. When they touch you, they are very, very happy. Just to touch your skin, they are very, very happy. When they ask you a question, you answer them, they are very, very happy. This was the culture, this was the system I met. Friendly system. Everybody was so friendly with foreigners. Everybody loved foreigners. Nobody hates foreigners in Bangladesh. Everybody see you outside, they want to touch your hair, they want to touch your skin. They are very, very happy. I still went ahead because I see the better part of Bangladesh than, than the bad side. I saw the better side. So I'm always looking at the better side of everything I do. So a system that allows you to stay for over 10 years. It's a very good system, if you ask me. So why not settle down? When I came, I saw the football. I was going to the stadium. Every game I go to the stadium to watch. I see that, wow, I think I can play good football in this place. So when I came, I, I heard the uh, Kokama Babu was going to organize a friendly game between foreigner and national team coach, national team uh, player. So he called me to please come and play the game. I said, okay, no problem. So I never knew that both Dakar, Abani, Sheikh Jaman, all the clubs were coming to watch because all foreigners against national team. So in that game, I scored two goals against the national team. And every club want to sign me that same day. But before that game, Arambak were already talking with me. Please, we are coming to stadium because of you. Please, don't talk to anybody. So after the game, they just come, take my hand and take me to office. So while I was going, BJMC were calling me, Dakar Abani were calling, Sheikh Jama were calling, all clubs were calling me. Where are you? Come to my office. But these people were smart. But I didn't know Arambak was small club because I'm new. So I went and signed for Arambak. When I came to Bangladesh first time, uh, it, it's all about players. Um, they are not academically sound. I don't think they were from any academy. You know, somebody just woke up one day and said, I want to play football. He's already big, but he got the opportunity. He's playing in B-League. It's different from someone that is groomed from the childhood. You have uh, under six under 8, under 10, under 12, under 14, under 16, under 18. If a player can pass through this stage and get to under 18, definitely he's going to be a very good player in future. Yeah, uh, from my own experience, uh, Nigerian, uh, they've had a structure that has been working for a very long time. A structure to groom the young talents. So in Nigeria, you can't just see a player woke up one day and said, I want to play football. It must start from somewhere. So before you can be known in Nigeria, you must have passed through some academy football. Um, the future of uh, Bangladesh football, is, it all depends on uh, the grassroots. It starts from the grassroots. It depends on how you develop the upcoming ones then you can get the results in future if you don't have a grassroots development then you cannot get a proper uh, future stars everything starts from the grassroots in various districts there should be a structure that enables an academic growth in every district so if this is done then you can be rest assured that in the nearest future, Bangladesh don't need to look to France, Spain, to go and look for who is Bangladesh origin. 
because you will have them inside here. So I, I think I, I learned that um, BKSP is the only academy that is producing uh, football players right now, right from the time I came. And you can see the product of BKSP. They are the one ruling uh, Bangladesh football now because they came from an academy. So if such academy is everywhere in the country, then it would have been a very good thing for the development of football. We have to find a system that allows us to play attacking football. Attack your opponents. Don't be scared of them. Don't go and sit behind and be waiting for them to defend. They are attacking you. Take the ball from them, also attack them. They will be scared as well. But this system, I think there is a break in transmission in this system. But when you can't blame a coach, for this this number one you cannot blame a coach because even if you are a coach today you are going to work with the players you have you cannot go and bring mercy to come and play for bangladesh national team no you cannot go and bring a sonny chitri to come and play for national team no you cannot go and bring a what is the this england boy amza is not coming so who do you have? The local players. So what you have, you bring to the feet. You can only try to improve. And I saw this improvement over the years. It was growing. It was growing. It was growing. I think up to today, the improvement is there. So if Bangladesh continue like this, in the near future, there will be a team to beat in the South Asia. Oh, definitely, of course, because a player that is better than who is there, then of course it's coming to uh, add value. I'm not coming to subtract value, I'm coming to add value to the national team. If I stay with the national team, I think you will see the difference that yes, a foreigner is with us now, he's playing for us. But the thing is, it's not just about me, it's about the entire team. We accepted each other very well. We, we talked to each other very nicely and they see me as their brother, I see them as my brothers. So I don't think any of Koshirara King's players see me as a foreigner, no. Nobody sees me as a foreigner. So if I go to national team today, we will have a way of talking to ourselves before a match. We have to a way to motivate ourselves for every single game we are going to play. How to fight. How not to give up. How to make sure that we did not disgrace our country. How to make sure that we fight with everything we have just to get a point or three points from every game. Even if we lose, people will say, yes, you did your best. This is the kind of spirit I think I, I need to bring into the team. So for me, it's a positive step if I'm included in the team.